there's a super great documentary that um, is on Netflix, and it's about different zoos, like all over the world. I was out in Charlotte the other week with my sister, who uh, just recently became pregnant, so we were celebrating, and you know, we were watching this show, and we got to this part about the gorillas, and how the um, male silverback gorilla, um, he was taught every single day, several times a day, to consent to putting his arm up against the grate, so that way he could get a shot, um, and then he could get a tasty treat afterwards. Um, and my sister, she was like, oh wow, like this kind of what you do with dogs like do you um you know that must be so much easier working with dogs than with gorillas and I was like absolutely not absolutely not because the I would much rather work with the gorillas because they are in this confined environment with no matter the amount that they try to have that biological enrichment for these gorillas nothing is going to come close to their true biological environment where they can get that true fulfillment and so they're in this place where you know the only stimulation that they're really going to get is the interaction with these humans and playing their silly game and there were several times throughout this documentary that I was watching and the girl was just like "Mm, yeah not about it today and the researchers were like okay that's okay and it's like yeah that's what makes it so much easier is because If the gorilla opts out to consent, it's no big deal. But now you can't apply that to dog training because there inherently has to be a little bit of some things that the dog has to be uncomfortable with. They don't really have the option of, you have to get your nails clipped as much as we have to try and desensitize the dog and make sure that they are happy and a willing participant. That should be everyone's goal with things like grooming and going to the vet and equipment desensitization, all those different things. But at the end of the day, because they are so integrated into our lives, like the zookeepers, they do not go into the enclosures with the gorillas. They don't. These dogs are living in our homes. They're sleeping in our beds. They're on the couch next to us. And so when it comes to things like consent, they're the gorillas that are in these enclosures or just zoo animals in general. They are so devoid of stimulation. It's like, might as well fucking interact with this human asking me to do wonky shit because there is no other stimulation. And if they consent out of it, it's like, whatever. We can't do anything about it. Whereas dogs and human dynamic, we don't always have that privilege.